Thank you, Godfrey. Sarah Jane Butterfield started the Sanctuary Nails and Beauty in 2018 after years of doing the beauty gig as a side hustle. She's here to talk to us about her growing business with the help of the Access Accelerator. Sarah Jean, good morning and welcome to Bahamas at Sunrise. Good morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's a pleasure to have you with us and really excited to learn more about your, your business and what led to you being where you are now. When did your love for the beauty field start? Well, from I was young, I always liked to meddle with makeup, um, polish nails, do all that stuff. So I think it was always something I, I had in me and I just started doing it for friends and family, just, you know, to say we're going out onto my girlfriend's makeup, um, shape up their eyebrows and give pedicures to all the persons in my family and stuff like that. So basically, it you know, just started with it. So it's just a natural love. I love that. And I think one of the things that I love uh, always to remind people is the things that we're called to, our purpose, the things that we're going to be great at and going to move for us, the things that we just love. That's a natural part of who we are. And it's so That's natural true. that sometimes we don't even recognize it as a talent or a gift. But you did. You did. And you decided to leave your job and go into business for yourself. What was that decision and process like for you? Okay, well, that was a major leap of faith. Um, because I had worked in, I was working at BTC. And so I'd done into going into six years. And unfortunately, my mother had suffered a massive stroke. She lived in the States. And so it had, um, she was unable to walk or do anything like that. So she needed um, full care, 24 seven care. And so eventually she had to come home in order mm -hmm. to live um, with me for me to take care of her. And so it was a, it was really a struggle balancing household because I have four kids, um, a mm -hmm. husband, and also working a full-time job and having my side hustle, on, you know, so it was a lot. It was really demanding. Um, some days I only operated on three hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. And so I just made a decision. I said, listen, I have to find something that's going to work for me and that's going to afford me the flexibility in order to take care of myself and my family and my mom. And so that was really that what started um, my decision to make to make that um, move and to step out on my own. Yeah, well, that's a lot. And I'm, I'm so happy that you're willing to share that with us because I think some people feel like they're managing this entire thing alone, but there are so many people in similar circumstances taking yes. care of children, but also taking care of parents and then trying to find the time to take care of themselves yes. and, and their other loved ones. So it's, it's great that you shared that with us and great that you decided like now is the time I'm going to do something that works for me and allows me to live what I need to live, which is a multifaceted life. So yes. kudos to you uh, for making the decision. Uh, and how did you get plugged into the Access Accelerator program? And did that expand the idea for your business in any way? It most certainly did. Um, I had knowledge of the Jumpstart program, which was one that the government um, had ongoing. And mm -hmm. I knew a, well, a family member of mine who had participated in it, and he was able to get his landscaping company started through that. So I started inquiring about it. Um, and one of my good old, well, former co-workers, uh, Marlon Johnson, had informed me, he said, well, Sarah, they stopped that um, that program, but I think there's something new uh, with the Small Business Development Center. And so I went in, got the information that I needed, um, did my application, and that was how the process started. And to be honest with you, I had the best advisor, Tamron Isaacs was her name, and she was awesome. She was really, um, she gave me all kind of encouragement and she advised me on a lot of stuff. And that helped the process because for me, my process was same, seamless. You understand? It was really easy. Um, when I had to fill out all my applications, all the forms, anything I didn't know, I could have come to her. She was so open and friendly, you know, and that helped me a lot. Because even when I initially started, I only wanted to get certain things. And she was like, listen, sit down and imagine what you want your, your um, business to be like. You know, she said, write down everything that you wanted and make application for it. And that's what I did. And I got five times more than what I had actually initially um, set to qualify for. Well, shout out to my good friend, Tamron Isaacs. You're right. I haven't worked at the SBDC. I can tell you that she's simply amazing, uh, brilliant yeah. mind. And so I'm so happy that she was able to make that process easier for you. You know, did you find at any point in the pandemic affected this business for you? It did. It really did, um, especially the industry that I'm in, the beauty industry. We were shut down for the first six months of the eight months when the country was basically closed um, from mm -hmm. March 15th because I had just opened up. Well, I had secured this space 
that was in September of 2019. Mm -hmm. And so we, I had gotten approved in November. And so all of my um, furniture and all supplies and everything got in like mid December, late December. So right around Christmas was when I really um, was fully set up to mm -hmm. operate. And it's the, I was supposed to have done my grand opening in March and here mm -hmm. in pandemic. And so March 15th, as of March 15th, we were closed. And so I was closed mm -hmm. for six months. So you can just imagine the impact that that had um, mm -hmm. because rent still had to be paid. Utilities still had to be paid. All my other financial obligations still had to be met. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it has been, I, even though it's been almost two years going mm -hmm. in from the pandemic, the, it's a trickle effect because you're still mm -hmm. trying to play catch up with mm -hmm. those bills because you don't have that income that you had um, projected. So yeah. that was really, uh, that has been a really challenging time, but I must say with the um, Access Accelerator program right now, I have a post-funding advisor who is uh, Mr. Leo Rule. Mr. Carlos mm -hmm. Smith was actually my advisor, but um, his contract had ended. So now um, Mr. Rule is, the he actually um, facilitated my post-funding, which allowed me to expand and put in a hairstylist area because it was only nails that we did at first. Okay. So like I said, if it wasn't for the SBDC, my dream would not have been a reality because going yeah. to the commercial banks, it's hard as a, as a self-employed individual trying mm -hmm. to get funding. It's really difficult. So this program, when I said, is really awesome and it was really needed. And I'm praying mm -hmm. that they continue it to the other young persons, even older persons who want mm -hmm. to take that leap of faith, who want to go out and expand on their own business ideas and grow something for themselves. You know, they have that opportunity and that would, that's what the SBDC has afforded me. You know, it's allowed me because with the business continuity loan program as well, that has allowed my doors to stay open because I was still able to pay rent and do other stuff. So like mm -hmm. I said, they have really gone above and beyond. Um, in that program to really listen to the business owners mm -hmm. and actually understand what we've been going through and what our needs are and try to find ways to meet. Right now, they've introduced the, um, this, um, the distressed grant, which is, um, I think was 250,000 the government has extended. And we're praying that they do add additional because we have far more applicants than mm -hmm. funds that are made available right now. But mm -hmm. a lot of companies are still fighting to get back because, you know, the SBDC does a monthly check where we send in our reports as to how much money we've made, what our um, revenue has been. And therefore, I guess they're seeing the numbers and see that companies are struggling just to yeah. try to get back to regain the business that they had before. You know, so that's the one good thing about it. It's an ongoing process. Whereas they're hands on and they're really trying to look out for the best because small businesses are the life and blood of, of the country. You know, and it Very keeps well going. I tell people mm -hmm. when you support a small business, you're supporting a family. You're helping Indeed. someone to feed their family, to do stuff, you know, and to the, to have a better lifestyle than what they what they dreamed of. So yeah. for me, it's really, it's really been a time, but I had to be creative. I had um I remembered one day I was just, I was like, what am I going to do? And I said, thank God, that's not the only income I was depending on was the shop, but I also sold bath and body work products. So I just started putting out on social media that I have candles available. I have this, and I was able to just do deliveries. And so yeah. that, that helped me. And so when, when you're in business, you have to find creative ways mm -hmm. in order to, to just adjust, you yeah, know, um, indeed. You, can't, you can't play dead. You have to all, you have to be self-motivated. You have to be able to get out there and to make something happen. Indeed, you know? but you certainly done that, Ms. Butterfield. So we congratulate you uh, on Thank the you. spa, on the expansion, on continuing to stay in business through it all. Of course, you can check out Ms. Butterfield at the Sanctuary Nails and Beauty. Ms. Butterfield, it's been a pleasure talking with you this morning. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. And like, um, well, just to let persons know where we're located, we're located number 98 Bernard Road. If you're coming from the West, heading, you're familiar with St. Augustine's College, we're at that junction where Addy Street and St. Sack is, is six stores down to your left. And we're right, we share the space with um, six party rental as well. And if you're coming from the East, heading West, if you're familiar with a Catherine School, we're the second corner as you pass on the right hand side, one property to the left, right, I mean to the right. 
So, and you can look us up on Facebook as well, and we can be contacted at 525-2847-364-5777, okay? But it's been a pleasure, and I thank you again for this opportunity. Thank you for speaking with us. You're watching Bahamas at Sunrise. We'll be right back.